Hey everyone, it's Kristen Burt with Red Carpet Report. Today we're in Pasadena, California to get the inside scoop on all of NBC Universal's summer shows. I always love to know when, when you're on a show that's successful like 90210 and you transition to something dramatically different like yeah. The Blacklist, do you find that a lot of your fans follow you or what was one attached to the subject matter versus the other? No, I mean, there's they're so different, you know, and I've never, I, I just joined uh, Twitter. I'm not the biggest social media guy, but, you know, I feel like it's becoming increasingly a part of the business, so I'm trying to keep up with the in crowd. And um, so I just got on, the, and that, that's really the first time I've, I mean, aside from people coming up to you on the street and being like, hey, man, I love the show, that's really the most direct uh, communication you have with the fans. So I, on 90210, I didn't, I didn't have the same sense of it that I have now on the blacklist where people write comments and stories and, and I think your character is going to be this. And I mean, you just have such a dialogue with the fans. It's really cool. Have you had any like outlandish um, requests or comments from fans of where they want your character to go? Yeah, yeah. Well, one, one that I really liked was, uh, well, first off, one girl asked me to, she said, if you say hi to me, I'll marry you. Oh. So I was like, I can't pass that up. So I was like, hi. And then she changed her last name to Eggold. We're married. Congratulations. Thank you. It's very exciting. Yeah, you're on your honeymoon here. Yes, I'm honeymooning here in NBC. It's very exciting. In the Georgian room. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, what was the first part of your question? No, uh, where, where's oh, your character going? Yeah. The, um, is somebody wanted, uh, like a, in a very Star Wars kind of way, thought that Tom and Liz were both half brother and sister children of Red like a, star, a Leia, Leia Luke thing, which would mean that the incest is going on. So that's... that's Flowers in the attic, man. But Yeah. <laughs> but and that was cool. I did appreciate the Star Wars reference, so that was cool. Yeah, but the incestuous part, we that can ix that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, you're looking forward towards season two. Yes. Have you had thoughts of where you would like your character to go? Oh, certainly. I mean, you know, I just want Tom to have a, a life. You know, he, Tom's going to be really more exciting next year than this year, I think, because next year he's, uh, gosh, I can't say too much, but, you know, he's, he's going to be a part, you know, he's going to be a part of a different thing that we have yet to introduce, and it has to do with Berlin and things like that and things that are coming, so he's going to be a part of another world that we haven't seen yet, and he's going to be, yeah, you're going to see a new, a new dude. So you're, you're teasing us. Yes. That's all I can ever do with this show. It's so hard. It's one of those things the writers are probably like, don't say a word. Don't say anything, but say a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Just tease them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the show. I hope you're feeling better. Thanks. Yes. I will. Let me get some more tea and I'll be golden. Excellent. Yeah. Love it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Ryan. Pleasure. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked what you saw here today, be sure to like us, friend us, tweet us, or comment below. I'm Kristen Burt. We'll see you next time.